I'm George. I'm here today to give you some tips on fielding, a really important discipline that can make or break a game. Fielding's really important for a number of reasons. One, you don't get as many opportunities, so to be able to take the catch or create that run out can be a real game breaker in terms of winning or losing a game. It's the one thing that everyone does as a team. There's 11 guys out there and your energy and the way you can put pressure on a side can have a big influence on the outcome. Oh, well, it was on its way to the boundary. Fielding has a number of different disciplines. There's obviously the close in catching from the slips and you've got to work on your reactions and being in really balanced good positions, the movement in the covers and square leg and then there's the outfielders as well who have to be able to move, take great catches, get to the ball quickly and have a strong arm to get the ball into the keeper as quick as they can. Right to Nick again, he's out! Oh, that's brilliant! When that one is hit crisply. Wait, wait, wait! Oh, that is brilliant fielding. Wherever you are in the field, it doesn't matter which position, the key is to be ready when the batsman's about to hit the ball. So that means being nice and low, nice and balanced with your weight evenly distributed between your feet, on the balls of your toes, ready to go in either direction, leap up, stay low, whichever the, the case may be. Oh, bang! Great bit of fielding too. Oh, that is belted by Marsh. It's not a bad ball, is When you're collecting the ball in the outfield, you've normally got a little bit more time. So it's important to obviously make sure that you gather the ball cleanly and then you've got a little bit more time to take a step, get yourself into a really strong position. If the outfield's nice and hard, you might be able to do a bounce throw. Otherwise, you want to be throwing nice and flat to the keeper over the top and following through to where your throw is going to go. Can Max will get there? Yes! Wherever you are in the field, the key to fielding the ball and throwing it are to stay nice and low, nice and balanced. When you've got the ball in your hand, you want to line your feet up to where you're going to throw and line your front elbow up to the target as well. And then the throwing itself should be nice and fluent and all in one. <laughs> Clear motion. <laughs>